Tomorrow is Halloween and there will be plenty of goblins and ghouls out and perhaps other dark forces. <laughs> Modern day witch from The Witch's Fix, Briar May, is here with some magical protection to keep us safe this Halloween. Hi. Hi. I love this. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. It's my everyday wear. I'm sad that I left mine at home. Oh. <laughs> I should be wearing my witch's outfit too. <laughs> okay, tell me about the witch's fix. Yeah, so we are a magical mercantile and we're located in the Lock Street area. Okay. Um, but we're more than just a magical store. We're also very community based, so we hold a lot of community events like we have our coven spells, our moon rituals, and we also do kids' potions, DIY potions as well. Cute. Because yeah. you know, you got to start them young. You do, yes, yeah. It's very important. Of course. Uh, we're going to put together a simmer pot. What exactly yeah. is a simmer pot? So a simmer pot is something that you can use to either protect or connect yourself from or to the other side. Oh. Um, and essentially it is just fruits and herbs and different types of oils that you can pour in there as well. Okay. We actually have one here. It's called the Season of the Witch. I don't know if you want to pour it in. <gasps> everything, I wish we had smell vision <laughs> because everything in on this table and in the studio and down the hallway smells so good. Well, that's the thing with simmer pots. They also double as potpourri. They're very, very nice. <laughs> So yes, witches, we know what's yeah. going on, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. so you pour that in there. This one's cool, so it actually changes color once it boils. Oh. And then once it's going, you'll see it has a very like aromatic scent, and you're gonna wanna sit in the steam, and you're gonna wanna set an intention for either protection or manifestation, okay. and kinda see who or what shakes loose. Right, so what would I be manifesting? So you can manifest protection, or you can manifest connection with your ancestors as well. Oh. Yeah. That is so cool. It's a great way to honor them. Okay, so do we stir it with anything or do we just kind of? Well, we should, but I didn't bring a spoon today. That's okay. So, but that's you can good. use a bay leaf, that's great yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to get everything in there so it all makes, you know, that aroma. Yeah. Um, so now tell me about some of the people that come into the Witch's Fix. Cause like I know like it's for seasoned mm -hmm. witches. Now, what's the male version of a witch? Uh, a warlock. A warlock. So do <laughs> you have a lot of warlock shopping in there too? Oh yeah, we do. We have all sorts. We, we, I mean, we get children, we get adults, we have everybody from all walks of life. Okay, Halloween costumes. Yes. What's the purpose of them, for real? So, on Halloween, the veil is at its thinnest. So, it's said that spirits are walking around, and you want to dress in costumes so that they can't tell you apart from them. Oh! Yeah. It doesn't okay. always have to be scary, just some trickery. This is, like, making a lot of sense to me now. So, um... The protection practices, whether it be a costume or the simmer pot, is that just for Halloween or can we kind of do this all year round? You can do it all year round. Whenever you need protecting, if you want to protect your piece, your person, especially if you're going into unknown situations, it's always great. Give me an example of an unknown situation. Oh, well, I'm in one today. So. Right. <laughs> That's a very good example. So did you did you do a simmer pot to kind of protect yourself from, you know, anything no. bad happening to you today? I didn't, but I popped a piece of obsidian in my pocket to help Just keep in case. protected. Yeah. Ah. It helps ground you. Well, I think that's great. Okay, um, what other protection tips can you offer? Oh yeah, so there's also rosemary, which you can plant outside your front door. Okay. You can break off a piece of bread and eat it, but you can also put it in your pocket or your purse. And Just carry a random it. piece of random bread? Random loaf of bread. Yeah, you can bake it yourself, or you can buy it, doesn't matter. Really? Really? Yeah, and there's okay. also black salt, which you can put in your purse or on your person. Okay. Another great one, which we all do without even realizing it mm -hmm. on Halloween, is a pumpkin. You carve it, you make a jack-o'-lantern, yep. you put it outside your door, and it helps protect you from evil spirits. And now, mm, now, mm -hmm. would you, would it be strange if you had a jack-o'-lantern all year round? Um, <laughs> like, would people judge? I mean, maybe, but you, know, you could do different <laughs> things. I've seen people do them with apples, and they're pretty cute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, does it have to be carved? Not always, no. No, it can just no. be a pumpkin. So yeah. I've been protected for almost a good month now yeah, since yeah. I've gotten my fall decor out. Yeah. We've been protected in the studio too yeah. with all the pumpkins. It's good. <laughs> okay, quickly, we've only got about 30 seconds sure. left, but what's a modern day witch? Oh, that's a great question. A modern day witch um, is different for everybody because there's so many different kinds of witches. You know, there's crystal witches, moon witches. You even have kitchen witches. They bake all of their intention and magic into food. Nothing bad. Mm -hmm. um, but you could also <laughs> think of doctors and nurses as witches because oh. they use tinctures and herbs and all sorts of things to help care people and help people. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, it has been a real pleasure having well, you here. Been a pleasure being here. And I've learned so much. And now <laughs> I'm getting, what are these called again? Simmer pots. I'm going to have to invest in my own simmer pot, yeah. I think.